Hello guys, it's Rick. Welcome back to another video, man. So today we're gonna do a quick video for MLS, man. We're gonna do a MLS, uh, a, a MLS uh, recap video. Uh, MLS one of my favorite league, man. I, I really like the league and very passionate about the league. Um, I'm a Seattle Sounders fan, so you know what, man. We are gonna get into it. I believe I'm wearing a Columbus Crew hat right now, man. So you know what it is. It is what it is. Uh, so we're gonna get into this. If you do, if you guys do enjoy this video, I, I make them on a regular basis, but. If you guys don't watch it or like it or leave a comment, it is what it is. You won't see this video on a regular basis, man. So if you do want somebody to talk about MLS, man, I'm the guy, man. So really watch these videos, support these videos. And let me know what you think about this video and uh, MLS in general. What team you support, let me know. Uh, so we're going to start with in Chicago. With Chicago versus uh, um, Orlando City. That game ended in a 1-0 win for 1-1 draw. In general, man, I'm looking forward to see what Orlando do this year, man. They got they got Nani and a few other players, so um, that's the team that always like show potential, but you never know what you're gonna get from them. I think they've been a, a big letdown, but they got a great fan base, and and uh, who knows, man, they might do well this year. Playoff, it's a stretch right now, but you never know. Um, but yeah, uh, Chicago, man, they went down to ten men, so probably that's why they didn't pretty much go on to win this game. But it should be interesting. Um, in coming weeks, so we got New England for our Re New England Revolution versus Columbus Crew. Game ended in a 2 0 win for Columbus. Columbus have a very good team, uh, they have a very good uh, supporter base. Uh, they just got a new owner, so the, the club won't be moving and it's going to stay right there in Ohio, um, um, Columbus, Ohio, which is very good for them. And uh, the players won't have that uncertainty as how they used to have, and so they're, they're going to be more confident and more happier. They did uh sold a goalkeeper man uh, the American International to uh Man City uh last year man so um new goalkeeper uh, I'm not sure how well he's doing right now but we're gonna find out as season go by but two zero win over New England Revolution not really surprised by that uh next we have FC Dallas versus LA Galaxy and I'm very surprised by the scoreline especially after uh, LA Galaxy pull off that crazy win with Zlatan scoring the winner last game and so I'm not sure what happened. Uh, FC Dallas, I'm not sure what to expect from them this season. Uh, new coach, new program, so I'm not sure, man. So 2-0 win over LA Galaxy, man, that's a good start um, to the season. Uh, Dynamo Houston, uh, Lou versus uh, Montreal Impact. Dynamo um, lost during midweek versus Tigers, one of the best teams in the in Liga MX. And pretty much in uh, North America, man, they could compete with any team in, uh, the, in, in the Americas, man. Both North America and South America. So them losing 2-0 to them wasn't a surprise, man. But they're gonna play them again this uh Tuesday or Wednesday. And more than likely they're gonna get knocked out because they gotta play them in Monterey. And Tigers is very good at home. So Houston is done but good uh two one win over Montreal Impact, man. Montreal Impact. The only person I really know they got is Piatti, man. Piatti has been there for a while. Yeah, he, he has been doing the bids for them, but he can't do it by himself, man. They got Sagna. Uh, Valkyrie Sagna on uh, the former Arsenal defender, uh, and uh, he's I think he's quality. He's uh, right back, right? I believe he's I think he's quality, but he's older now, and I'm not sure if he still has it. Uh, Real Salt Lake versus uh, Vancouver Whitecaps, one zero win for uh, Real Salt Lake. Man, not surprised. Man, Real Salt Lake is a very good team, of course, by a very good coach, and uh, I expect some good things from them. I think I could see them making the playoff this year. Um, but yeah, man, Vancouver, these Canadian teams has been like struggling recently, so mm, who knows? Um, San Jose Earthquake versus Minnesota United. Uh, this game ended in a 3 0 win for Minnesota United, man. Probably one of the biggest win um, so far this see, uh, so far this week. Uh, San Jose Earthquake, man, I think they're going through a, a transition period right now. They do have a coach. Uh, the former um, Chivas uh, coach from the Liga MX, they won. He won the, the 2017 or 18 uh, Clausura with uh, Chivas. So, um, settles their equipment. They don't really spend a lot of money on plays, but they re they pretty much uh, rebuilding right now on the to uh, farm assistant for the Argentinian coach. Man. So, who knows, man? I think settles their earthquake uh, will be good one day, but right now. They're going to be struggling, man. But good win for Minnesota United, man. They just joined the league last year, and they're looking good right now. So far, this uh, beginning of the season. So, good win for them. Um, yeah, Seattle Sounders, man, versus uh, Colorado Rapids. Not surprised by this. Colorado Rapids, man. They, yeah, they, it, it's just, I don't know what to say about them. They do got Tim Howard in goal, but defense, um, it's not their midfield. It's not really their man. They don't really spend a lot of money in, in, on this squad. 
they don't really invest in their squad like that, man. So I'm not really surprised by the scoreline. And Seattle Sounders coach, well, man, they have a very good team. Uh, that guy, what, Keenum, Arkema, yo, he's a beast, man. Looking very good so far. One more, I think he's going to be a breakout, uh, one of the top players this year, man. So shout out to um, Seattle Sounders. Uh, New York City FC versus uh, DC United, man. Ended in a nil-nil draw. Uh, Board result, man, by um, two probably good teams. New York City, City, New York City FC, I'm not sure if they're going to be up there this year, man. Uh, um, I know they used to have Patrick Vieira like a year or two ago. And they, they lost David Villa, man. David Villa, David Villa, I don't think he's past it because he's still doing very good over there in the uh, the J League, Japanese League with Kobe, uh, partnering up with, um, who's, who's all over there with, with him? Uh, Lucas Podolski and uh, Iniesta, man. So um, I think they should have kept on to him like a year or two more. I think he still have a lot to offer. They pretty much didn't probably didn't want to pay him as much as how they used to. I heard they want to give him like a, a back room, like a back room. Uh, uh, desk or something like that, man. They still want him to be a part of the club, but he still want to play football. So he, he, he part part of ways with New York City FC, man. So uh, I probably had this disappointing result for DC because DC do have a very good squad. They have some young South American plus Wayne Rooney, man. They, they on fire right now. Uh, next we have Sporting Kansas City versus Philadelphia Union. Uh, two zero win for Sporting Kansas City, man. Sporting Kansas City. Uh, being coached by Peter Vorman, a very well put together team. Man. Defensively, offensively, midfield, fantastic. Um, and it did lose uh, midweek, though, to a team from Panama in the Kankov Champions League 2 1 in Panama. But um, I think they'll be able to bounce back, man. They're the only MLS team right now, I think, that's going to do very well in, in the tournament. But we shall see how that turns out, man. So, good win for Spring Kansas City. Atlanta United versus Cincinnati. Another dis disappointing result. For Atlanta United, uh, Cincinnati got their first result, first uh, point in MLS, man. Their first draw in MLS, and they did it versus the top team, man, the, the best team in the league, the mo the biggest money spender in the league, man. So, Frank De Boer, man, I'm not sure, man. I just don't know about this guy, man. I don't think this guy is quality at all, but we shall see, man. After going from Tata Martinez, I, I don't think this is an upgrade. And uh, good result for Cincinnati, man. Good result, man. Shout out to all the Cincinnati fans out there. If you're a Cincinnati fan watching this, represent in the comment section. Uh, Los Angeles versus uh, Portland Timbers. Very surprised by this. Although Portland Timbers, they got a player sent off, man. But this scoreline was crazy, man. 4-1 win for LAFC, man. LAFC doing, did the bits on them, man. Shout out to Carlos Vela. He's doing a fantastic job with LAFC. And uh, Portland, I think they're going to bounce back from this easily. And compete and be one of the top teams in the Western Conference in MLS in general, man. But let me know you think about my quick uh, prediction. Let me know your thoughts on the game. What game really stand out for you? What score really um what score really surprised you? And any controversy about MLS, man? Let me know. But with that, you boys out here. Peace.